All right, Heidi. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Pull it there. Don't move. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Hold on. Yeah, that's nice. Right on the toes like this. Oh, boy. What? Who's that? Heidi Klum, right? Yes. I'm Andrew J. Kind. I called your agent about doing the book about supermodels. I'm writing the book. All right, the book. Could you come back a little later? I'll come back later. Yeah, uh, right I guess, now is not a good time. Can I ask you a question, though? As long as I'm here, would you mind showing me a couple of poses? Sure, we can do like five moves. minutes now, but then we have to keep... I don't want to get in the way. The last thing I want to do I can show you is like get in the basics. way. Keep one leg in front of the other. All right. Put it down and tippy-toe that one. Tippy-toe? Feel the wind. Try to, like, do your hips a little bit. Yes. Do you know this move? Of course I know this move. Huh? Of course I know this move. Well, work it then. How about this one? That's yeah. Cool. Yes. Uh -huh. Why not? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe. Woo! This year it's um, about paradise, beautiful girls all alone and uh, in paradise. Paradise, it's about freedom and, you know, just no rules. That's paradise. Paradise is a place where you leave everything behind. Heaven, <laughs> paradise, it's perfect, perfect. I think it'd be nice to just, uh, yeah, be all by yourself and stranded on an island. Um, I would have the best tan <laughs> all over tan, no tan lines. <laughs> Island. We're in the Caribbean. It's a nice part of the world. Necker Island's 74 acres of paradise here. The thing about Necker Island is that it's, it's your home while you're here. That's very important. Nothing's out of bounds, nothing's off limits. With the board, I, you know, I saw like, wow, what is that? You know, it's great. I think this is a great place. It's amazing. Three beaches, two coves, two hilltops, three houses, a huge beach pavilion, sandbar. It just goes on and on. It's you, you could set up a studio here and work every day of the year. Beautiful. Uh. They have different houses along the island, so there's like so many different places where we can shoot. You can just go everywhere. And oh, there's another spot, and there's another spot. You never run out of ideas here in this place. It's a nice place, very nice. We are on an island where there's nobody, and uh, we can do what we want. The sun is hot. The water is so blue, and I'm gonna enjoy about that. I'm gonna enjoy about the piece of pillow that's from India. And wow, it's great, mom. This house is great. So much furniture and things, and it, wow. No, me, I don't care about that. I like islands. 
I always feel good on islands. You know, it's like a horse, you know, when you want to stop a horse who is going crazy, you have to turn his head to the sea and then, you know, unless he's totally crazy, he won't swim for miles, you know. I feel like that, it's like, whew, you have to stop. You know, there is no way you can go. I like that. I think a beach is a beach. Some beaches are nicer than others, some, some have palm trees, some have rocks, some have... But uh, what's really spectacular about this island is the architecture. Great, beautiful. It is really about the girls, and I think it's very nice to show swimsuits at all, but it's not a question of inspiring women what to wear in the summer. It's to inspire the boys, you know, and give them an idea uh, what uh, a good-looking woman is like, you know? <laughs> in the book I'm writing? Yeah. I'm doing a whole chapter on uh, uh, supermodel, be supermodel beauty tips, or, it's, uh, or it could be tips for beauty for the supermodels. I don't have the whole chapter down yet. Right. Or it could be beauty, with like a question mark, beauty, supermodels. Can you give me some beauty tips? Is there anything that you do as a supermodel that would be different? Well, makeup is the most important thing, it's a, first one, of all. All right. You know, because, I mean, what are we without makeup? You know, we're just a canvas that has to be painted, <laughs> right? We're more, in a, in a certain way, you could say, without makeup, we are not made up, kind of. Yeah. What are you doing now? Tell me everything. Well, does that come in an electronic version? You squeeze your eyelashes up with that. Why would you want to do something like that? See how it Good. makes the eyebrow, the eyelashes go up? Yeah. Do you see it? I hate when they go down. I hate when they go down and turn left. This is like really like a whole new business for you, right? You well, didn't do any research before you came. To I prefer to think of myself as a blank slate. I want you to take me from point A all the way to Z. Okay. And we'll stop at M and N for lunch. But then we're going all the way to Z, my friend. You all know right. what I mean? I hear you, Bible. Hey, you got it, sister. Am I wrong? Yeah. All right. You know, like everything else, uh, the best models have worked hard to get to where they've been. It's not like they just wake up and they're beautiful. Heidi Klum, take one. I think that's in every man's head that, oh, there's this beautiful woman in this amazing place and there's nobody there. And I have to go get her or something. I think that's part of the psychology thing, what goes in a, in a man's brain when he sees the pictures and it's like, oh my God, there's this beautiful girl like on this island all by herself. What do men want? They want to see a sexy girl and uh, the least clothes possible. So I think we all did a pretty good job. <laughs> they want sexy, they want something when they see it, they're like, oh man. So they can all go out and have a beer and go, man, did you see the swimsuit issue? Oh my God, the sexy girl, the are just hanging out, you know? Andrew McPherson, take one. They're completely different. Heidi's really the Bond girl. Amber's got a kind of rich Californian sensuality that you just want to bite into her like a fresh peach. Heidi's much more... She's beautiful and she's very giggly and very funny, but the minute she looks at you through the camera, she's a total femme fatale. Very kind of James Bond, Doctor No. I would like to be a Bond girl. That's a nice compliment. Of course, all girls want to be Bond girls, no? Because the Bond girls are the sexy ones.
remember seems much more in a funny way of a Vargas girl, much more of the kind of girl who would have been sprayed on the side of a bomber in the Second World War. She's got those beautiful, full, peachy kind of curves. Morning, sport fans. Ah. Ah, that's amazing. Da, 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 da. Wow. Beautiful shape. Gorgeous styling. Hold, hold, hold. There, like that. Smile, girl. Yes. Ow. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I did that. Gorgeous, girl. Oh my god, my god, what a roll, what a roll, what a way to start the morning. This is like running a marathon from dawn till sunset, eight days straight, and we haven't stopped taking pictures once. <laughs> Closer into the good and up. Beautiful girls. Beautiful. Looking good. Sometimes it's good if you just go with the flow and we have to fight with the weather. It hasn't been always really great every day. been in hurricanes before and I know that they're not very photo friendly. And now it's over, I'm thrilled to pieces that we did have some smatterings of sunshine in there as well and made it really beautiful. Smiling is definitely the most important thing, like a real good smile. Now, do you practice in the mirror a lot? Oh, yeah. Let me see the difference between a fake smile and a real smile. That's the real one? It's a fake one. Oh, I'm saying, let me see the real smile. <laughs> so I can give you, like, tips, right? I would love tips. So you can, like, you know, be a little bit sultry. Mm hmm You know? Let me see that. You can do a little pout. You want to look real. Yeah, but know? I'm sexy no matter what. You don't what want I do. to go like over the top, like. No, nothing I do is over the top. You know, like that looks stupid. What are you thinking like, internally? Honestly. Are you thinking anything when you're? Yeah, you you know, you think mystery. You think pudding. 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 No, like I'm right wanna... in the pocket. Yeah. 
Look just, at that. That's like, don't the... get those things down. Like. Really? Do you no. like have some kind of implants? Like up. Or, or a, a pulley system? No, to pull you're up? Just, no, you're just fine. You just have to like learn how to mimic with your face. Because I'm totally available for any kind of uh, any kind of print work or. Well, I give you the number of my agent. Give him a really? Call. Professional athletes are a lot like supermodels. They just sweat more. But let's see if these sports couples can pull off the swimsuit thing. Well, I'll be teased, you can bet. Especially when they see my hair, too. On top <laughs> of it. <laughs> What's happening, everybody? You look like, um, oh my gosh, the old football player. No, you're not old. Oh, oh, oh. You're not old. Oh. Joe looked real good. I mean, he kept doing push-ups throughout the entire shoot to look all buffed up. It was the best thing that happened for him. He got back in playing shape. It was really hard to get started again. And I actually had to go to some old friends of mine to kind of get me motivated. If someone pushed more than anything and getting in shape was probably more her. She has that little bit more of a drive for staying in shape tonight that you can't tell. Them. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> I mean, Jennifer looks like she's an Olympic athlete. And she's so cut, it's unbelievable. I think that really affected Joe because he's so concerned that he doesn't look half as good as his wife and he's the famous athlete. He tells me all the time, I owe him. I owe, you owe me for doing this. And I said, no, you owe me because you got in shape for the first time in a year or so. <laughs> so we're even. We're done here. People think it's easy being a supermodel. And they're right. I'm working right now, and later on, more floating. I think everybody's looking for beauty, you know, all the time. Whether the beauty is very classic or could be spiritual. But if I saw a beautiful woman, she doesn't have to be perfect looking. No, it's to say she's beautiful, but why? That's called the mystery of things. And this, this kind of beauty that I like. speaking about Leticia, it's going to take hours because I cannot stop, you know. First of all, she's going to be beautiful. The face, the body is amazing. It's like a personality. She has that incredible, childish gift, you know, to the camera. I mean, innocence. <laughs> then she delivers something incredible, you know. passionate on her job and she knows what she wants. She's not like a photographer. For me, she's more like an artist. <laughs> Daniela. There's a song. In oh, Daniela. Na, 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 na. Daniela. Is a girl I always, always liked. I always liked her in the picture. And she was so simple with that blonde hair. She looked like a little uh, girl, you know, looking very, very blonde, very, uh, uh, you know, sweet. The part that I'm doing is definitely different because it's more 
kind of girly and stylish, but still young and raw at the same time. So it's, it's, it's fun, kind of a girl on the beautiful island playing a dress up. Beautiful, she's beautiful. I've never worked with Dominique, it's my first time, and I think she's an amazing photographer. In a way, it's a little difficult doing bathing suit with someone you don't really know, but I completely trust her. I mean, she knows what she wants, and she knows when it looks well, and I completely trust her. Yeah, yeah. You know when a, good, when a good moment is there, because nobody speaks. It's incredible, like, when everybody's shut up, and you know it's the right moment. We always hope that it's going to work and it's always a bad surprise when it doesn't work, you know. And if something doesn't work, everything is f***ed up. <laughs> you know, it's OK. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a good position, great. Ah, c'est bien, c'est bien, Laetitia, comme ça. Descends encore un peu la tête, voilà, descends tout. important thing is what it's the right bathing suit mm. that's the most important thing is also the right color okay let me write definitely, that down definitely more important than the swimsuit color it's more about skin color like I'm a very olive person what would you say I was kind of cheese 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 complexion yeah. my girlfriend's looking for a, a swimsuit what do I do well, you would go by her skin color, okay. by her She's, eye color. Her eyes are, she has two eyes. Right. And they're like uh, evenly spaced. Yeah. Her right. skin is skin colored. Like what kind of color? Like skin that you would see on a person. Like dark brown, chocolate, mocha. She's very mocha. White. She's mocha, mocha. with a with Mocha, I would definitely go for a... You know, I think her skin's more vanilla, now that I think about it. Vanilla? Yeah. Man, she has really a vanilla. Her skin is more sorbet colored. Does that kind of affect it at all? You're really confusing me now, you know that? So you should be writing all this stuff oh, down. Oh, that's my problem. I forgot I was writing a book for yeah, a second. Yeah, you should write this down because it's very important. It is important, but you know, I do, a lot of times I don't write things down, but I'm making a mental note. All right. I got everything you say. Go ahead, you say something to me, and I'll, tell, I'll, go, I'll just repeat it right back. Go ahead. Pudding. Pudding. See? I'll never forget that. <laughs> I'll also jot it down, too, because I think I already forgot what you said. <laughs> My agent left an obnoxious message on my machine saying, like, <laughs> joke of the month, they want you to do the SI issue. And then we had to fast for five months. <laughs> it was sheer panic for me. She's an athlete. I used to be. So I'm used to lying on the couch. It's just not something I would choose to do every day in front of a camera. <laughs> Run around on the beach in a swimsuit. Not only is it a photo shoot, it's a workout from hell! The great thing with Walter, of course, was it wasn't like he was going to pop us on the beach and we were going to be these static figures, you know? Everything we did was action. And that's what it's all about, you know? It's the beauty of the action and the, and the beauty of the body in action. Oh. Oh. Sometimes 
when we model bathing suits, it almost feels like we're not wearing anything. This time, we're wearing nothing but body paint. The thing about body painting is it's timeless. The one thing that doesn't date with body painting is it's actually about the person. It's an optical illusion. It looks like, like a suit, yeah, it looks like real. It's amazing. I think it looks better than the real one. <laughs> she has to work with your body, you know? Everything, like, this is the canvas, and that's what she has to work on. I felt really more like laughing and being a little bit more cheeky about it, like, hey, you know, here I am and I'm not wearing anything except my body makeup. It's all about coloring in and you can transform a uh, person, they can become another character with the illusion. You know, even if it's subtle, even just normal makeup is an illusion. First we try the suit on the original suit and then she takes Polaroids so she can see where really, where the fabric would lay when she takes it off. She knows exactly where she has to draw certain lines. And then I draw out the outline, get my team to start painting in the base colors while I'm lifting it and separating it and make it curve and turn and working on detailing it. It's amazing stamina. I mean, the woman was painting 24 hours a day. The enthusiasm that she had was contagious. I mean, everybody had to be excited because if she wasn't tired and she wasn't exhausted, and she, then we couldn't be. The process is very long. We wake up at 3 in the morning and it takes like 8 hours. Mine was 7 hours. It didn't feel like that at all. It seemed shorter. It took 9 hours, but it was really interesting sitting there and seeing it change. You know, an hour later you look and it's like, wow, it's starting to happen. And then all of a sudden, it's like a real suit. Unfortunately, for uh, Audrey and Yamila, they were not ready at daytime, so we did nighttime, and I, and I think it was great, you know. Very nice. Yeah. Very My outfit was a bikini that the straps fell off my arms and the bikini was just like more just kind of laying on my body. So it was more like kind of loungy, kind of just hanging out. Fit like a glove. <laughs> I really like my suit. It was black and in the back had uh, three flowers, like roses. It's good for me because it's really Latin and I'm... I'm Latin girl. <laughs> the two-piece bikini was a lot of flowers and a lot of colors and a lot of layering. You know, I looked on a bunch of suits and I really liked the colorful and the islandy with the flowers. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And the other suit was a one-piece uh, tie-dye with orange, very bright, very, very happy, very like pow pow, very strong. What Heidi did today was she put her hands on and it came off, of course, because she's warm. It's not permanently on her. Came off, it was on her hands. She said, should I wash my hands? And I said, you know, she was like, should I wash my hands? And I said, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. And then all of a sudden we used that into the picture and I thought it was great too. We're like, you know, sometimes things happen also by accident. What are you doing now, Heidi? I'm meditating. Is that an important thing for a supermodel to meditate? Meditating is the most important thing. That's actually. the most important thing. Yeah. Okay. Meditating is definitely the most important thing okay. because, you know, traveling so much and doing all these things in our job, you definitely have to center yourself. Center yourself. Yeah. And you close your eyes. All right. And you try. To Don't get... try anything funny. No, I won't. Okay. All right. Try to get your soul out of your body, up into the air, and look okay. down to yourself. Well. What do you see? I see it's either either I have a bald spot on the top of my head or it could be where my hair parts. I'm not sure. I think it's where my hair parts because I think it's just a natural progression. You know, they have very good things for that now. Well, I'm, I'd like to look that. into that if it's possible. And you should hold your fingers like that. You touch it like this. Okay. And you feel the energy going through your fingers. You feel it? You know what I feel? What do you feel? A rock going through the top of my foot. <laughs> Me too. Keeping up with this Adonis, this is just, I mean, the guy, after 10 years, he gets up to walk to the bathroom, and I look at him, and I just go, my God. Let's not make him in the bathroom. Though. Oh, geez, that's <laughs> right. She's one of the sexiest women in the world, so. Wait a second, one of? Well, you are, to me, the sexiest, but. <laughs> You're quick, sweetheart. You are quick. No, it was great the other day. It was like, okay, what did they want Chuck to wear? Ooh, well, cares? they didn't even really mention Chuck. She does look a little happier, Chuck. Cheeks free. Yeah. Time out, you guys. Oh, Lord. Hold that pose. Yeah, it's a long process, getting all the uh, lighting set up, waiting for the weather, changing everything to make sure it's perfect, so we use body doubles quite a lot. Cigarette in the mouth, yeah, there you go, that's it. Nice, good, healthy look. You get a sense of place, a sense of the world. We sometimes bring our own and then sometimes we find the odd ones who are hanging around, you know, a little desperate. Yeah, not bad for okay, standing. I think we're ready. We are indeed. Thanks, Rocco. They want to be a stand-in, it's fine by me. They say everything happens in threes, except for those things that happen in twos and fours and multiples of five. Whatever. Right now, we're offering this three-for-one special. Ava Hutsigova, Nikki Taylor, and making her SI debut on Nook for Fell. I'm really a lucky boy. <laughs> I work fast because I'm very conscious how quickly these things appear and go again. Uh, so I am very much like a hunter, in, if you like. I mean, I like to have total control over my equipment and be ready so that, uh, and wait for it like a cat waits outside a, a mouse hole, you know? <laughs> and when it uh, appears, I can record it and I have it there, you know? 
Okay, lovely. I feel it is a unique moment each time. I mean, every picture ultimately is a split second. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bravo. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Goodbye. He knows exactly where he wants to do the picture, and suddenly he puts you there, and he's like, okay, da -da 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 -da, goodbye, thank you. Thank you very much, goodbye, bravo. Thank you very much, thank goodbye. Woo! Hans was just like, yeah, we got it, you know, Ch change suits and go, 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 and I felt great, too, and it, so it was all working. I'm actually quite a, a tomboy. Everything that has to do with speed or climbing or something that is a kind of dangerous or risky, uh, I'll be happy to do it, no problem. It's actually better when, when he just catches it and that's it instead of going around for like another 10 rolls and just doing the same kind of thing. I, I, I'd rather work that fast, you know, just, you know, you know what's right, you know what to, you're looking for, you know, you want to be sexy. Ay, beautiful, beautiful, lovely. What amazes me is how she puts up an act, how she goes through different motions. Uh, uh, it's a dream for a photographer. I can only just uh, record, you know, go snap, 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 and uh, it seems that every shot is, uh, is right there, you know? It's, it's very rare that that happens. She has a sort of feline quality, you know, a sort of a different kind of intensity. There is something uh, sometimes almost disturbing about her, you know. She's more like a wild animal hidden away, you know, you feel the dangers. You know, she has a certain look, almost say, it's a sort of Matahari quality, you know. Sexy business. Huh? <laughs> Occasionally, she kind of makes a body movement which is almost disturbingly provocative, and, and that's when it gets really interesting. It suddenly stirs the boys up, you know? It stirs me up. <laughs> Maddie, teasing me right to the end. Look at that. Anouk is a very uh, cool beauty, let's say. Uh, her sensuality is not on the surface. You have to look for it a little bit, you know? Uh, at the moment, you have to kind of tease it out of her, so to say, you know? I'm going to go very easy with her, you know? I'm not going to tease too much. But, um, <clears throat> I don't think that she feels... Like being sexy, I didn't want to force it into some sort of cliche, and so I thought I'd just kind of wait a little bit and see what comes from her. And I can see she's more and more loosening up, and I think we've had some very, very nice moments. and wait and be ready the moment it happens to really kind of document it and catch it, you know?
much lovely. <laughs> well done. <sighs> this is great. You know, Heidi, I, I couldn't help but notice you have a wonderful accent. How'd you come up with that? What do you mean, how did I come up with that? I'm German. What do you think, I'm from Brooklyn? I don't know. What do I know? I'm just writing a book on the subject. Plus, I'm not very good with accents. I can't tell the difference. Brooklyn, Germany, France. Well, what do you think will it teach us from? Brooklyn? No, she's French. They speak French in Brooklyn? No, she's from France. Oh, French from France. Mm. Okay. I am learning so much today. I can't thank you enough. No worries. I didn't believe it. <laughs> okay. You know, this is something new for him, so he really committed to working out. So it was a lot of fun. We worked out a lot. A lot. You know what? He'll be the first one to admit he doesn't look like an athlete. I guess it's easier watching than doing, but I guess it's the old opposite of track rule. I mean, he barely could jump off the trampoline. I made the decision. I had to convince him to do it. You know, maybe everyone's not so wonderfully athletically talented. And his awkwardness, I think, made it interesting. Yeah, had a ball. <laughs> but I thought that was the charm of the couple. I said everything. Why didn't you talk, honey? Because you said everything. Are we taking five? She is the supermodel supermodel. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's humble. And she's very, very smart. There's only one Rebecca. How did I feel when I first got the call that I was booked for Sports Illustrated? I don't know. I mean, um, how did Louis Armstrong feel when he first walked on the moon? You know? It's really important to be part of the whole team experience. It's important to stay really humble and to know that I can't just do it alone. There is no I in we. There, you know, there's no I in team. There's no I in unity. Uh, actually, there is. What? There is? There is an I in unity. Oh. Wonderful attitude, beautiful girl, you know, beautiful to look at, and beautiful attitude. I mean, she really works so hard, very uncomplaining. I mean, I, she's great. Never complained, ever. Hey, Pippi Longstocking, I think I'm sweating. Is this sweat? Look, look, supermodel sweat. They don't go together, okay? They don't go, Lorraine. You know what? I have three words for you. Breath mint. Get, 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 get. Go find a 7-Eleven. The most important thing is that I remain humble throughout this whole process. I don't come to you. You come to me. You understand? In one word, it's respect. Hair! Hair, can I get some hair? No, 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 no. Your makeup. This is makeup. This is hair. Did I ask for makeup? No, I asked for hair. Hair, can I get hair? Ow! Ow! It's not a pin cushion. You're just sticking pins in there like my head is a pin cushion. What are you, new? How long have you been doing this? That's right. That's right. That's right. How important is the chemistry between the model and the photographer? Very important. In one word, super important. I think you should. You do it. <laughs> Why do I have to do everything? I am his clay, and he will mold me. You need it to, uh... Too much to make you show me, Antoine. You step in here and you show me how to pose, okay? What's the magic word, Antoine? What's the magic word? Do you ever say the magic word? No, I've never heard it once. You don't give it to me. You 
Is there competition? No, no, there's no competition. You know, we, we help each other. We work with each other, you know? I scratch her back, she scratches mine. Rebecca? What? Do you have something like these? Let me see. Nope, you're good. Thank you. You go give them that famous plum smile. You go, girl. You know, we love each other. There's one thing that I want to say. Are you in? Are you tight? Can you get tight on me, please? Can we get a close-up? I am dead serious when I say that I love Sports Illustrated. I want to thank you, because this is the most amazing opportunity. I want to thank you and all you guys. We get that piece of out of my face! You can cut that out, right? That part that I thing I just said, because that's not good. I don't want anybody to know that I talk like that. You can cut that out, right?